morning guys welcome to saturday oh my god my lens was go, filthy go to my tiktok and no like, plug your ears and like no. my photos and like my photo no because well, my video no. because, because i really want to be a dragon yeah sylvie tricked me into saying that if she got a thousand likes i buy her a bearded dragon it's a trick she got 200 she's disappointed do okay. not help her out that's 400 yeah don't do it guys because i do no, not no please like it no bearded dragon please. i love a bearded dragon like that's my next please. thing like i like it by it there like there's a lot of like you don't just or, buy a tank and stick them in there's like a lot of work with a bearded dragon sophie doesn't know that it. Bearded dragons literally die if you give them food too big for them. Like if you give them certain things too big for them, like there's there's just a lot of things you have to have right. And I don't have time to make sure everything's right right now. I got horses. I got well, you guys. I can do that. That be my yeah, I know. I'm feeding my, my. I'll be feeding my dog and my bearded dragon. Yeah, so you're feeding your dog all the time. Like you, Sophie's got a lot. You got a dead dog for goodness sake. You know what's really funny is that now that the vet said, Laura, that dog cannot hear you. I Before I was like, well, maybe she can hear. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe and now we're like, how dumb were we? Like, we're so dumb. Like, even today, like, she's, she's, the, she's the deafest dog. <laughs> she didn't even, I talked myself out of believing it. And then I talked to my sister. Like, I don't see my sister enough, you guys, for you guys to know her. I wish I could, in, I wish she had a YouTube channel. My sister is my idol she used to, from the time she was a child she worked at the humane society and then she became the manager worked her way up and became the manager of the humane society then she moved on she learned so much working alongside vets she worked with animal control um and then after 20 years at the humane society she became an animal control officer with more control and more power to help animals and her animal experience on earth has been like any rescue animal i've ever got have almost always been through her she has rescued you name it she's rescued it she knows stuff about every animal on earth she's always she's had horses she's had goats she's had like you name it she's had it and she has always been my go-to information person before we got brandon and fiona my sister jenny is the one that guided us through everything that's how come we learn so much about so many different breeds but anyway she does have a bearded dragon she has a bearded dragon she's had several bearded dragons she's we got her. every and, and she uh, her best friend owns a pet store <laughs> like they get in so much trouble because of my sister but sam keeps me sane he's like don't do it laura don't do it we do not need any more animals right now maybe one day when things are different but anyway today is saturday and we are headed out to do shopping saturday shopping and it's Saturday shopping and we are headed to the tech store <laughs> to the tech store and Walmart I'm trying a new recipe with Oreo cookies found it on TikTok I hope it doesn't go wrong I see my cat down there oh I see her too where has anybody seen Ollie lately Looks good so far. Looks good. Daisy. That was an Oreo in the middle. No. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, you guys. Um, I bought some new fidget toys. I already opened this, but I like to keep it in this package. It is a needle ball, and it's super fun to play with. And it's huge. Everything time I get a stress ball, it's always either huge or small. I got this foam stuff. I got a Rubik's Cube because there's a thing that was supposed to solve it, but it doesn't work. I got this Yeti, and his name is Mr. Yeti. Show them the Yeti. Look at this. Like, this is, it's got like baking soda inside of it. Cornstarch inside of it, and you can stretch it, and then smush it. I love it. I want one. I got my dog a bunch of toys, and I got this dinosaur thing that has stuff inside. I got a slinky. Oh my god, you got a whale? I got, no, mom, this. I got a the throws dog the stress ball thingy, and it's super fun. I have this one, so now I have two. 
I was like this, which me and my mom love. Okay, this is like silicone, like a silicone. This is like a silicone breast implant. Once you touch it, you can breast never stop. Breast implants do not feel like this, though. Uh, oh, I think they do. No, they don't. Oh no, they don't they're, move. they're when they yeah. break open. They just yeah. But that is amazing. Next thing you know, she'll be cutting it open because that's oh, what I she know. does. I know, I'm not ever cutting this. Yeah, open. that is so good. I, I got this whale that barks up Orbeez in Orbeez stress ball. Um, okay. And that's all that's new. Well, okay. Um, I also got this thing, which it's a surprise blind bag thingy, and it's super satisfying. And it's you move these ones around, but there's all different kinds. Toys have changed a lot in the last 10 years, you guys. Like, did you ever think you'd find something that looked like this? I know, I, I, I have to look at that. <laughs> she had to look at this one a second time. Like, it's interesting. Like, if I had known she was buying this, I might have been like, mm, I don't think so. It's just it's so odd. Sweet. I know, it's odd, and it's oddly satisfying. My favorite one out of them all, my favorite jeans? one is the breast implant. I love I it. Get the cooking jeans. Yeah, got me made. Make anything better than everybody in this house? Um, I made crab legs. Oh, and crab. fish. All right. Anyway, we gotta go. Gabby and I are headed to the barn because we have to change blankets, and Gabby and Kaylee are going for a ride outside in the freezing cold. We did do some shopping today. I got another, I got a few bags of treats and I got this for Finn. Okay, so Gabby and Kaylee are here. They left me. Like, I feel like, I feel like the unwanted third person now, you guys. Like, I think it's come to that. There's a horse over there sleeping. They make really nice beds with the hay. Even I could sleep on their bed. It's so nice. But yeah, basically, I think they've outgrown me now. I feel like. The days when it was the girls and me, I think they're over. Sophie still likes me though. Sophie still hangs out with me. This is how thick their bed is, you guys. This is how thick it is. This is what they sleep on. Nobody's horse wants to come with them. Whoa, the only one that wanted to come was Finny. Finny, he's like, why do you? Uh-oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. None of them are coming. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Come on, Finn. We're, we're ahead of these people. Come on, we'd be winning. We'd be winning it. Come on. Come on. Uh, how was he, Gabby? Oh, no. What the heck are you doing? Finn. Oh, my God. Uh oh. I don't know. Apparently not. Okay, hold on. Uh, how do, is he lame? No. Woohoo! We are cooking with gas. Sorry, I did a mistake. Corporal Gabby here to get me in trouble. So basically, a fin has the start of a sore. So essentially, see that? Where his hair is all matted? Look at him. So basically, he oh, he really likes it. So basically, he's had pressure here and. I didn't notice and it's not like whoops and it's not open or anything basically he's had pressure here from his blanket it's not open this is like the third year he's had this blanket or the second year he's had this blanket maybe the third year anyway the chiropractor said he can't get a sore here because that's a really awful spot for them to get a sore it's hard to heal up what's sore see how it's all matted there i just pulled it all apart it, it's breaking down Let's just because the blanket goes there. Yeah, because the blanket goes there. So, anyways, see what he's doing there? He's like, when she was rubbing here the other day, he was yawning and sticking his tongue out. Like, he really was releasing a lot of tension from... He's still doing it. So, anyways, she told me to get a special thing to put on here. Oh, he's really liking this, you guys. Oh... Poor boy. Do you think oh this is God. too tight? You think I did it wrong? I did it all myself, you guys. Oh. I did a little crooked. It's crooked. It has to come this size. This way. But anyway, this is what I bought. This is meant. Oh, yeah, it's good size. 
It's meant to make any blanket on top slide so it doesn't put pressure. And yeah. that's Hi. Finn's new thing. I brushed his hair. All right, I'm gonna name you Superman. Superman, he's got his Superman blue underneath. There we go. God, Sophie would be so jealous if she saw me here grooming you, making friends with you. Yeah. There we go. Feel good? That must have just been driving him crazy, having that knot there, having that knot there. All right, you're free to go. You're free to go. Oakley's like, ride me. The girl said I could come riding with them. I could just ride Oakley, but I'm a chicken. But I'd like to, like imagine me on him riding down the road. It'd be so fun. Kelly's dad rides him and I swear he's begging me. He's standing right there. I feel like Oakley's begging me to ride him. Oakley's begging me to ride him. I know, I'm tempted. Should I do it? I'm gonna ride Oakley. Like, I'm actually gonna ride Oakley. Do we have girths in the car? Yeah, but they're small. Oh. So it's just Tex and, and Gabby, and they're going on a trail. And I'm riding Oakley when they get back. I'm riding Oakley. I'm. Can I have your gloves? Sure, to ride with? Yeah. Yeah. I need two pairs. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, take them. I have lots and I'll be sitting in my nice warm car. Yeah. Gabby's like me. She can't wear big heavy gloves and do stuff. So anyways, uh, this is, uh, let me introduce Tex. you to Tex. You guys might not have Chino's seen him boyfriend. in a long time. Okay. That's Chino's poop that his owner is so conveniently not thinking about. So he is completely not lame, just a little bit stiff, Gabby said. And, and I think that, that I knew, I was expecting that to happen because uh, the chiropractor came and he was he really... Never, ever before he was just stiff before. yeah yeah before he would get like this stiffness when his back would, would be tight but i didn't tell you guys the chiropractor actually told me that storm's probably in the best shape that he's ever been in and she has told me before like that you have to keep storm in really good shape like muscle wise and stuff and uh, he she said he's doing like so good his lower back and his pelvis and all this stuff because, because she rides him in a frame correctly and it's really working for him and so yeah so Chino was out in his back and his pelvis and I knew it. I can tell by the way he moves when that happens to him. Okay, so remember, he's still recuperating. We know, we know. Out of shape. I love the new uh, girth that they got though. I don't know if it pulls their hair out or not. It's it memory doesn't. foam. It doesn't. But it's actually, it actually like fits snug. Like it's like a second skin instead of like a big bulky thing. With Sophia last, he was trying to eat the bit, but I wasn't ready. So like Ben. You know how Ben... Grabs the bit. Yeah, so does Penny grab the bit? No. Oh. <laughs> Penny doesn't. So, Gabby says that he, like, is anxious to work now, so, and move and do stuff, so he's excited to put the bit in. He likes his walking trail. Yeah, he loves the trail. There they go, you guys. The girls are going. They're leaving. Now, careful, Chino. Careful, careful. Careful, 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 Chino. So, I'm going to sit in the car until you guys get back. All right, there's one. Let's hope that these are the life I need. All right, see you guys later. Be safe. I had a weird dream that I don't know how to how to uh, interpret. I dreamt that I rode Willow yeah, we down the road. No, it was an emergency. If there's any emergencies, you have your. Go home and grab Willow. Do you have your? <laughs> do you have your phone on you? Do you guys have a phone? Do you guys have a phone? Okay, yeah, I, I got mine. I'll be in the car. Call me if you have an emergency. So last night I dreamed that I had to race on Willow. I had to, like all of us went out on a trail and I had to race Willow. Maybe it was like I was meant to ride Oakley on the trail, trail but I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I should do that or not. I'm not brave enough for that. Anyway, they're on their way. They're gone. I have to watch till I can't see them anymore. So I don't know if I'm like gonna be racing out there to try and fix a problem because, or like what my dream actually meant. Sometimes I relive dreams that have already happened. So it could have been like that whole fiasco when Storm went running down the road. I'm gonna turn the car around and then I'm gonna kind of get warm <laughs> and get ready. And then when they get back, we're gonna ride in the arena. I'm gonna, they're gonna ride together again. Like you guys are gonna ride together again. And school's back in our area, I told you that, right? And 
then I'm gonna ride Oakley. I'm gonna bite the biscuit and it's been a really long time since I've ridden like um, regular kind of horse, not a gated horse, but I'm gonna ride Oakley and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun, I think. If he canters for me, I'm gonna be in heaven. They look like they got a story, you guys. The look on Gabby's face, she looks cold. She's got her hood up. You got a story? You got a story? You, ooh, sorry, Tex. You got a story? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. This way, do you have any Easter eggs or any cinnamon hearts? Yeah. Okay, I'll turn it on. Gabby, no! <laughs> what is she doing? Scratch the saddle. No, it's coming out. That's all right. It has my saddle. You know what? What happens, happens. Like, I forgot his back boot, so he tried to buck me off. Oh. Crow hopped me off. Oh. Tex bolted. Oh. <laughs> he was like, we're going to the galloping strip. Because that's. Went in a circle and he went slow, and then we took the course. <laughs> yeah, that's where you guys gallop, so that's what he's used to. Gabby, I can't believe he forgot his boots. Tino doesn't like his back feet to bang together. Helmet. Very warm. Your helmet's warm? My hood on my helmet is very warm. Oh, good. All right, I'll get the car warm. You guys go put those horses back in and we'll warm up before we ride. Okay. All right, so you guys all know what I'm like with driving. Well, most of you guys know. I don't drive no, anywhere. up all the way. I don't cool. drive anywhere that I've never driven before. And the girls tricked me into driving them to McDonald's. So yeah, we're in the McDonald's drive through I don't even like to go through drive throughs I drove someplace I've never driven before, and so now that I've done it, though, the girls are gonna make me want to are gonna want to make me do this all the time. Yep. Before I was like, nope, I don't know how to drive there. I've never driven there. I'm not driving there. And now, yeah, one handed. Yeah. Now we're here, you guys. Like now, I drove them here. <laughs> so Oakley just walked into the field to this field. Oh my gosh! Watch and see if he leaves. That'd be so funny. See him over there in the blue blanket. Oh, he's gonna leave. Ooh. So he just started walking there, and so Kaylee's like, we have to go, we have to go get Oakley right now. So I don't have to walk and get him. Hopefully he doesn't leave. So I didn't mention to you guys that it is minus 10 today, and when it gets to minus 10 or colder, it gets really cold. And not too cold to ride. It's not like where you breathe and it goes into your lungs. It's not like that, but it is cold, colder than it has been. So um i'm sitting in the car and they are gonna go check up the horses and then when they're done or when they're close to being done i'm gonna go in that way i get to stay in the car and be warm for longer all of a sudden i saw the horses take off through the woods and then i realized the girls were out there and they saw them and they just went running off so for any of you that think that it's just storm that runs from us no nope, it's oakley too storm taught them all he taught them all how to do it all right they caught them i saw them i was watching all the horses were running like crazy are you ready for me, Oakley? How tall is Oakley, Kaylee? 16 hands. 16 hands. Are you ready for me, all 16 hands of you? 16. He smells my treats. He's like, yeah, I'll let you ride me if you give me treats. Sure. Uh, he walked up to me the other day and put his shoulder on, his head on my shoulder. Aww. So hopefully that means he likes me. He's such a nice boy. Yeah, he is such a nice boy. Okay, so the girls had a really good ride, excellent ride. And I'm going to go get Sophie's saddle because it fits me better. Also hoping to warm up my fingers a little bit before i ride like i'm seriously frozen the only part of me that's warm are my feet so these boots are actually pretty warm oh man you guys it's cold it's happening here i'll take him off your hands you know he does nothing except for stand what are you doing mom oh, I can't get him up okay you look handsome in that yeah dude it's a color on you Storm. Nice little montage. Is the girth extra tight? Oh, it's tight. Is it tight? When she gets on the saddle moves down. It's tight. Like, my fingers went in and he was pissed off. <laughs> One more, a bit more. Oh, he's like, I don't understand. <laughs> oh my god, you're getting on by yourself. Jump quick. Oh my god, you didn't die. My stirrups are way too short. I can't ride them. <laughs> I love short stirrups. No, the whole I can't ride like that. Oh, this saddle is nice. You look good in that helmet. I'm squeezing. Squeeze and like pull. <laughs> <laughs> he's an Appaloosa. He's stubborn. Oh, yep. An Appaloosa with a long tail. That's 
I love his long tail. I'm so happy we got one with the long tail. Yeah, he doesn't like riding on the rail. He does the same thing for dad. You just gotta push him and use your brains. Good on him. I want him. No. <laughs> We're trying to ride our regular horse again. Should I try to trot? Do it. I'm gonna trot on the way home. Okay. He might be more fast then. Yeah. But as soon as you like pull on him, don't be afraid to yank. He has a very tough mouth. If you pull back but use your leg, he should just go right into a jog. Look at you. Squeeze it to like, squeeze, 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 squeeze. for letting me ride him. Mm -hmm. It was actually really fun. The only reason I stopped is because there he's putting all the horses in and we don't want to cause him like problems or whatever. So much fun. I love the helmet. Okay, so that was fun. That was insanely fun. That was like as fun as riding Penny. Probably even more so. Like, I don't know what happened, but suddenly I don't have that anxiety anymore when I ride. Like. I think it's because of the Pasatino farm. Like, they taught me how to ride. Not that I'm good at riding or anything, but I'm still definitely a beginner. But I lost all my fear at that place. Like, oh, it was so fun. And for any of you guys who don't ride, don't know what the feeling is, like, and you see it on all the girls' faces, like, when you ride a horse, it's this overwhelming feeling of excitement and peace at the same time. It's like, it's almost like you feel like you were meant to be the, in that spot all along. Like, it's such a bizarre feeling. If you get an opportunity to ride a horse, even just sit on a horse at a walk, like, do it, my friends, because nothing like it. Don't you know that you're beautiful?